Clint Cooper with AP Emissions Technologies. I'm here today to answer some frequently asked questions about catalytic converters. First up, what does a catalytic converter do and why is it so expensive? A catalytic converter is a critical component of the vehicle exhaust system that is designed to reduce harmful tailpipe emissions. It transforms the toxic gases that cause smog, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and unburned hydrocarbons into much less harmful substances like water, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Engine exhaust gases react to the catalyst placed on the honeycomb structure inside the body of the catalytic converter. The catalyst is made up of precious metals like platinum, palladium, and rhodium. These precious metals account for the significant cost of a catalytic converter when compared to a muffler. Next up, what is the difference between an EPA aftermarket catalytic converter, a carb catalytic converter, and an OEM catalytic converter? So federal or EPA emissions aftermarket catalytic converters are built for California and federal emissions vehicles located in states other than California, New York, Colorado, and Maine. They have a federally mandated 25,000 mile emissions warranty and a five year structural warranty. AP emissions federal and EPA cats are so durable that we have doubled the federally mandated emissions warranty to 50,000 miles. This is for both CARB and EPA catalytic converters. CARB catalytic converters have demonstrated their ability to keep the check engine light off by an independent testing laboratory and have been granted a legal exemption that allows them to be legally sold in California, Colorado, New York, and Maine. Carb Kelly converters typically have more precious metals, more durable, and more expensive than federal or EPA Kelly converters. Carb Kelly converters have an emissions and structural warranty of five years, 50,000 miles. OEM Kelly converters are the same as what was originally installed on your vehicle. They have the most precious metals, are the most durable, and the most expensive option for replacement. An OEM Kelly converter has an eight year, 80,000 mile warranty on a new car but does not have a mandated warranty when used as a replacement part outside of this original warranty period. Despite differences in price, durability, and precious metal content, all three types, EPA, CARB, and OEM, are effective at keeping that check engine light off and controlling tailpipe emissions. If you address the underlying issue that caused the original catalytic converter to fail, any of these options should last the remaining life of the vehicle. So what causes these catalytic converters to fail? Catalytic converters are designed to reduce harmful tailpipe emissions by oxidizing and reducing exhaust gases. They're designed to last the life of the vehicle, but they can fail due to several factors. Overheating. Excessive unburned fuel enters the catalytic converter and this can lead to overheating. This causes metal migration and sintering within the catalyst bed where precious metals clump together, reduce their surface area that's needed for the catalytic reactions to take place. As the surface area decreases, the converter becomes less efficient eventually triggering a catalyst inefficiency code. Contamination from poisoning. Catalytic converters can also fail due to contamination from substances like oil mist or antifreeze entering the combustion chamber. These contaminants coat the catalyst surface, preventing it from effectively interacting with the exhaust gases, which drastically reduces the converter's efficiency. And finally, we have engine management issues. Most catalytic converter failures stem from an underlying engine problem leading to overheating or poisoning. Conditions such as a sluggish O2 sensor, a faulty air fuel ratio sensor, vacuum or exhaust leak, misfires, these are all potential cat killers. These issues must be resolved before replacing the catalytic converter, otherwise they will damage the new converter and cause the check engine light to reappear. By addressing these problems early, you can extend the life of your catalytic converter and avoid costly replacements. And finally, what should I do if my check engine light comes on after installing an aftermarket catalytic converter? It might be due to the engine taking time to relearn those long-term fuel trips. Catalytic converters need a narrow three-way emissions window to work effectively. Those gases can be thrown off if the fuel trims are off by more than 10%. Try disconnecting the battery for 10 minutes to reset the fuel trims and resolve any related issues. Another possible reason the light might not come back on is that whatever caused the original cat to fail was not fixed and the same issues causing the replacement cat to fail. Mass airflow sensors, O2 sensors, EGR valves, PCV valves, these should all be clean and in good working order. Eliminate all exhaust leaks, vacuum leaks, and fix any other codes that could lead to a catalyst failure. It's a good idea to call our helpline at 1-800-277-2787 if the check engine light comes back on. Thanks for watching our Cali Converter Frequently Asked Questions. We hope this video has answered your questions and provided valuable insights into the importance of maintaining your vehicle's exhaust system. 
Remember, your catalytic converter is a key component in reducing harmful emissions and keeping your vehicle running smoothly. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on more tips and advice from AP Emissions. Thanks for choosing us as your trusted emissions partner.